But we have one more piece of news about the Live Golf Tour. Some of the golfers playing it are now taking legal action against the PGA Tour. They've left the PGA, and now they're being told they can never play in it again. Fox's Bill Malugin has been tracking the developments for us tonight. He joins us now. Hey, Bill. Hey, Tucker, that's right. Today, 11 members of the Saudi-backed Live Golf Circuit all filed an antitrust lawsuit against the PGA Tour, and they're accusing the tour of illegally crushing competition as well as retaliating against players. So the PGA Tour has suspended golfers who were lured to live golf through some significant appearance fees as well as massive prize funds. And the tour has pointed to its own bylaws that ban members from taking part in any other events without the permission of the commissioner. Effectively, what the tour is doing is they're banishing tour players if they decide to take part in the live golf circuit. Now, Phil Mickelson and Bryson DeChambeau are both part of the lawsuit. They are suing the PGA Tour all in an effort to challenge their suspensions. And part of that lawsuit reads in part, quote, the tour's conduct serves no purpose other than to harm players and foreclose the entry of the first meaningful competitive threat the tour has faced in decades. Here's what live golfers in the lawsuit had to say about the tour this past weekend, exclusively to your show. I think it's unfortunate that we couldn't try to bring this all together. I think everybody would have benefited. I'm not worried about what that tour does anymore. Uh, you know, they've separated themselves from us. Everybody's, like I said, is against us and has basically treated us like, uh, you know, the black cats of the world. So PGA Tour is saying that anyone who participates in Live will be banned for life from PGA Tour. Yeah, it doesn't make You're sense. You're 28. Are you worried about that? No, no. I think it'll get figured out. And the end, I personally know that it will get figured out, whether it's legally or whether they come to the table and, and work out terms. I definitely think it'll, it'll all wash itself out in the future uh, pretty shortly. And Tucker, Live Golf and the mountain of money behind it has really sent the sport into some pretty tumultuous times. Live Golf is offering $25 million in prize money at its tournaments. That's a heck of a lot more than the PGA Tour currently offers. And top pros are also being offered hundreds of millions of dollars as sign-up bonuses. That's obviously a hard offer to not at least consider. The PGA Tour may soon be forced to work with Live Golf, though, as the Justice Department is also investigating the PGA Tour over potential antitrust violations as well. So the tension continues to increase. We'll send it back to you. Bill Mulligan for us. Thank you so much. Thanks. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.